Yo, what's up, with Ghost here? Today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the well gun and only gun. And I wanted to make this comparison because obviously, after the season 2 update, people still have kind of questions on what the meta is for season 2. And me, or for me, after I've been using the well gun and only gun quite a bit more now, I feel like these two are, in my opinion, the best SMGs in the game. I think they are better than the MP40 now. I think the MP40 nerf, although it doesn't seem like much, was just enough to allow for these two guns to be the better option. I've just been seeing a lot more people pick the well gun and own gun over the MP40. And I personally think the MP40, although it's still really good, I think these two are just slightly better. And today we're going to be comparing both of them to see um, which one is better out of the two or just why they're so good. Um, but before we do get into the comparison, I want to see if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, one or two thousand. About less than 100 subs away, so every sub does greatly help. And um, yeah, man, with that being said, let's get into the comparison. And then we have the recoil pattern for the well gun. <laughs> I gotta land first. But, yeah. Anyways, the recoil pattern on this gun, very straightforward. Um, one thing that is an underrated change to this gun, though, that I seen or that I've noticed immediately was the fact that, as you guys saw, when I aimed in, my thumb didn't cover the iron sun. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, Back before this, or when this update, or before this update, when I made my videos with the well gun, when I did the reload patterns, um, when I aimed them with the irons or a base well gun, that's like your thumb would literally be on top of the gun covering like the iron sight. And it's not like the craziest thing, it definitely is a little distracting, but it's not like 100% is going to ruin your whole flow. But you know, for some people, that actually might be a big thing. And for the fact that that was even like a bug in the game, it's kind of absurd. But thankfully, they ended up fixing it. Um, although I didn't know how frequent that uh, glitch was, because I never really used the well gun with the iron sight. Um, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, one thing that the well gun did have with sights is that it felt like really zoomed in, or like the sight on this gun. Like now that I realize, like for example, the sight that I'm using right now on the well gun in this clip, I remember, bro. The sight seems so big, like double the size that you're seeing right now. I swear to you, that's how big it was. I don't know why they made it like that. Like, I just, I'm pretty sure all of it was a glitch. It wasn't like the biggest thing in the world, but like, bro, like, it just was weird. Because for me, I tried to use the, um, initially when I first used the well gun, I tried using the, uh, what was the site called? The, the Slater site. And I couldn't use it because it was just, it's just weird. I probably can use it now, but, um, bro, like, it, it's just, I don't know what they did wrong with the guns. I don't know why they made them the way they did, but thankfully they fixed them. It's it's normal now. Um, and again, it wasn't the biggest deal before, but you know, it, was, it was a little a little weird. But now you know we're back to normal, and this gun is really really good. And if you guys took notice of my class setup a few a few minutes ago, you would see that it's essentially different than the ones that you saw in all the clips, pretty much. And that's because when I went back to the world gun, I wanted to use the class setup that. I remember it was good from when I was using it, but that was only because I didn't have this gun leveled up. But now that I leveled it up, got a few attachments, the class setup switched. And that class setup, the new one that you guys saw uh, earlier in the video, that one is, yeah, that one for sure made me a believer in it being better than the MP40. Like, I'm not kidding you, bro. I was using that gun and I was like, yo, this, this is it. This, this is the class setup that is, you know, gonna lead this gun to the top. Um, and again. I won't lie though, this gun did actually receive a nerf as well from what I remember. I don't know specific attachments. Um, I'm actually kind of lazy to go look at the attachments, but I do remember that this gun got nerf damage range wise, like medium range and long range, just like the MP40. But I think that was more so not as effective as it was towards an MP40. Because this one gun, from what I remember, wasn't really like a gun that we used for range as much as like the MP40. So, for it to receive that kind of nerf wasn't really the biggest deal, in my opinion, because this gun at close range is still, it, it, that's where it mattered, and it's still really good at close range, and even, some might say it got a little buff, because bullet velocity and whatnot, and, you know, so that didn't really get nerfed, so, to be honest, overall, I think this gun didn't really lose itself, um, whereas the MP40, that gun did have range, and that got, it got hit, making it slightly worse. I mean, theoretically, yes, the uh, well gun did get worse, but I don't know, man. Just given what how we use this well gun, how people build the well gun, like the range doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really play a factor in my opinion. 
Uh, it's always there, but it's not like the biggest thing about this weapon. It's not the same. It's the same for the MP40, but the MP40 definitely had a range game, and you know, that's just how it was. But anyway, with that being said, let's just get into the only gun and sets. And here we have the recoil pattern for the only gun, and as you guys can see, it's actually pretty similar to the world guns. I would almost say identical. Um, but in this head-on, head-to-head matchup, the only gun definitely is better than the world gun, or at least in my opinion, at range. Um, from what I've experienced and how I've used these guns, I think the only gun for sure has the undisputable range. And in fact, I actually thought at one point, or still think at one, that the only gun is the second best Vanguard SMG at range. It might be the best one right now because you know the MP40 did receive that range nerf. But the thing about the MP40 is like I've used it enough to judge that it obviously got nerfed and it's not the same MP40 that it used to be. But I haven't used it enough to the point where I'm like, oh, okay, I'm ready to put the own gun over the MP40 in terms of range. And then like the well gun, I've just never been able to use it at range. People can use it. Um, but in comparison to like an MP40 or even Owen gun, I don't know if it's the same. Like the Owen gun is decent. It's just I don't know if it's at the level of these two guns. If not, it'd probably be at best like third best SMG at range. I think that's a, a good claim. Maybe fourth best because Type 100 is pretty solid as well. Um, but you know, that's just based off my personal experience. I you know I really don't necessarily keep up with the times nowadays i'm only being like watching too much warzone content nowadays and i just be kind of busy and be doing my own thing but when i do watch it you know i try to pay attention to to the stuff that's ongoing um but anyways man we're gonna move over to the first set of stats and for the first set of stats we're gonna talk about is the fire rate now between these two the world gun is faster because it has a 658 rpm and the only gun has a 500 rpm and if you compare that to an mp40 mp40 has a 600 rpm and the only gun is still going to be slower no matter what you can always use fire rate attachments for the own gun i would definitely recommend if, you would, if it fits for you for me it just didn't work out i didn't really enjoy it but for most of you guys you guys should probably gonna mess with it um, but the well gun just base well gun has a faster fire rate than the MP40. So that already is like a good sign that it's a better alternative to the MP40. And again, you can always add attachments to enhance your fire rate, which I do. I have like two, three attachments on my well gun. And even if you do use, which you will, uh, use fire rate attachments from the MP40, like it just, it won't close the gap. It won't close the gap. Uh, unless you don't use fire rate attachments to your well gun. But like I mentioned earlier, I definitely recommend you use it. Don't like not put fire rate attachments on this gun because you're gonna never get it but trust me it's gonna make your gun just way better so why not just do it um, but anyways man moving over to the first set of stats or um damage stats my bad first set of damage stats for 0 to 15 meters with the wall gun we have 53 damage to the head 42 to the neck 36 to the chest 32 to the stomach and then 32 to the extremities and then for the uh only gun for 0 to 17 meters 63 to the head 46 to the neck and chest 42 to the stomach and then 39 to the extremities now the Owen gun at this range was way more powerful than the MP40, and it's more powerful than the well gun. And then the well gun, actually, in some categories, if I remember correctly, is actually slightly stronger than the MP40 um, in certain uh, body part damages. So that just, again, like, adds on to the fact that, like, the Owen gun, to me, I feel like it's undisputable that at the moment it could be and it probably is better than the MP40. But the well gun, to me, is kind of like a question mark because people don't really, like, I don't know. People might not be too familiar with this gun. People don't really understand it. And, like, for me, I didn't really understand the, how in-depth this gun is because I didn't see the stats until now. So, I don't know, like, I didn't actually understand how good it actually was. And I can see now, bro, like, this gun definitely gives the MP40 run for this money. The only gun, in my opinion, isn't even a question. But the well gun, you know, a little bit of a question. But anyways, I'm moving over to the long range. For 15 to 20 meters for the well gun, we have 26 damage to the head, 37 to the neck. 31 to the chest, 29 to the stomach, and then 29 to the extremities. Again, I'm pretty sure it's actually stronger than the MP40. Just by one, though. Not by too much, but just a little bit. And then for the only gun, 17 to 22 meters, we have 51 damage to the head, 38 to the neck, chest, 24, uh, 34 to the stomach, and 32 to the extremities. Stronger than both of them, again. Uh, too crazy there. And then 20 meters and above for the world gun, we have 37 damage to the head, 30 to the neck, 25 to the chest, 23 to the stomach, and 22 to the extremities. And then for the only gun, 22 meters and above, 35 damage to the head, 26 to the neck and chest, 23 to the stomach, and 20 to the extremities. Now, funny enough, the world, that's like the only place in damage that the world gun actually wins in, just like the MP40. 
Uh, because the Omega Gun, for whatever reason, kind of gets a huge damage up from 22 meters to just like 23 meters. It, it, it's absurd how crazy it is. And the MP40 doesn't really lose its damage, and the Wolf Gun doesn't really do, lose its damage as much as the Omega Gun does. But the Omega Gun is still pretty solid. Um, you know, definitely just the more easier to control with its like, slower fire rate than these two weapons. Um, but, you know, yeah, this is how it is. Um, but, anyways, man. In conclusion. I think this is enough to show that both of these guns are definitely like better or at least a potential better alternative to the MP40 at the moment. And if I had to say one or the other in this comparison alone, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm leaning more towards the well gun. I love this the way this gun feels, bro. The way I'm rocking with it, bro, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So and hopefully that answers your questions. And um, yeah, I would like to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments section down below them. So please let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.